Welcome to part two of the Eden Club Championship Finals. Through 18 of 36 holes, I'm just three down with 18 left to play. I've battled back from an unbelievably tough start, losing my first five holes in a row. Can I finish strong and bring home the championship? Let's find out. I had an absolutely perfect drive on this par four. Left myself in perfect position. I've got about 60 yards in and I hit what I thought was a really good shot and it just didn't quite bounce up. I'm kind of confused there. But it's left me with this fairly easy chip shot. I mean, I've hit this chip shot many, many times, but I just absolutely chunked the crap out of it. I, I just can't believe it. So I've got right. this putt for par. And I mean, again, I just can't believe I left that chip shot so short. This was a great putt, and it just ends up a little short. So I end up taking bogey. Now, good news is my playing partner also took bogey, so we're only three down through 19 holes. Now I step up to the par three, and I haven't hit this green, or I hit the green the last time I played it. And I hit a pretty good shot, pulled a little left. I uh, left with a really long putt. It's probably 40 feet left for birdie. And I just want to get this thing close um, because he's on the green and chances are he's going to make a par as well. So I hit a really good putt, uh, gave it a chance. It was just a little short of the pin. And my playing partner uh, also makes par and he goes ahead and uh, gives me that. And so we are three down through 20 holes. Now this next tee shot, I pull it left and apparently the clubhouse is up there. Apparently I hit the window on the clubhouse. Um, and it bounced down and actually got pretty lucky, ended up here. So I'm trying to hit a low punch shot. I hit a little higher or than I wanted to, <laughs> uh, but I got lucky. It went through the tree and I've got this wedge in and I hit it and it ends up a little short, but yeah, still there. not a bad chip shot from where I was. And I've got this putt for par to tie the hole. And it's a good putt. It just misses on the low side. My partner makes par, and we are four down through 21 holes. And I want to hit a really good tee shot here. And I fanned it out to the right. In fact, we had trouble finding it. It must have hit the tree. And I've got this kind of a long shot in. And the whole goal here is to make sure I get it on the green. There's a bunker right between uh, in front of the green, and I want to make sure I hit it on the green. I've got a long, tricky putt. This is for birdie. And I trickle it down the hill, and for a second there, I thought I made it raise my arm, and not quite. So, But fortunately, um, he gives me that putt, and my playing partner makes a par as well, and we are four down through 22 holes. Now I step up and hit an absolute, just stripe this drive, absolute great drive. Uh, I'm in the middle of the fairway. I've got three wood. I'm about 240 out and I just want to hit this thing as close as I can to the green. I step up and I chunk the absolute crap out of it. And if you've never done that before with people watching, it's very frustrating. And I'm sure it affected this next shot, which I kind of caught that branch and it ended up in a really bad spot. So I've got this pretty difficult chip shot. I've got to keep it low. I'm just trying to run something up on the green and hope I can get a par. And I hit it pretty good. Um, it just kind of ran out a little now bit. sit down. We're asking for it to sit down, and it rolls over to the other side of the green. So my playing partner's having a little trouble with this hole. So my whole goal here is if I can get up and down and make a bogey, and hopefully he misses his putt for bogey, then we can tie this hole. And I hit a pretty good chip. Uh, rolls up a little short, but I end up getting... Uh, seeds of that putt, we end up, we are four down through 23 holes. Now I step up to this par three and I hit a really good shot, um, basically right where I wanted to go and I've given myself a really nice birdie look. I've got about 10 or 12 feet for birdie. Uh, my playing partner's on the green, so I'm thinking if I can make a birdie here, this would be huge. I would win this hole. My putt is right on line, hit it, hit and I it. just didn't quite hit it. So frustrating. So we are four down through 24 holes. And uh, Rob's got a pretty interesting angle on this uh, 
tee shot from the cart. So we got the cart cam here. And I hit this tee shot, I rushed oh, it a little no, no. bit. Ah. I don't like it. It's going out to the right. And we will have um, kind of a difficult shot in. So I've got to hit this low under the branch, but yet high under the next tree. So I'm hitting like a choke down seven iron. And I hit a really, really good shot. It ends up a little left of my target. Um, and I get an absolutely really unlucky break. It ends up hitting the cart path and bouncing up to this almost impossible chip shot. I mean, if you could actually see this, I mean, I am like above the hole. It's got to go down. And I hit an absolutely fabulous chip shot. Oh, that's a great and shot. And I'm giving there. myself a putt for par. So I've got this putt downhill, left to right for par. I really want to make this putt, and I just burn the edge and just miss it. And then the best part is, not only did I miss it, but I ran it by about six feet. So I've got this five or six footer. Now this is for bogey, but my playing partner is about to miss a putt for bogey himself. And so I actually won this hole. So we're back to three down through 25 holes. I step up to this par four, and I hit an absolute dart. I smash the drive. This is probably my best drive by far of the day. Uh, in fact, it's a little unlucky. It ended up going over the green, but I've got this chip shot. It's on a side hill. I chip it up and look at this. Oh my oh. gosh. How does that not go in? How does it not go in? I mean, look at it. Oh my gosh. All right, so I've got five or six feet, actually about six or eight feet back up the hill for birdie. And this is to win the hole. Lots of pressure on this putt. Can I do it? And I leave it short. I mean, we're three down through 26 holes. I kind of was a little tired. I mean, obviously it's been a long day and I kind of had a little bit of a mental fog there and I just didn't quite complete the putt. But it's very unfortunate because I really, really wanted to make that putt. Um, but anyways, I step up to the next hole to hit my drive and another mental mistake. And so I fan this thing out to the right and there's out of bounds there. So I'm out of bounds. In fact, this is actually my fourth shot. I hit a really good shot here. Catches a little bit of the branches, but it runs up just in front of the green. So I've got, this is my fifth shot after taking, you know, hitting the tee shot again. And I'm like, if I could just get this up there close, I hit a great chip shot. Uh, in fact, he goes ahead and gives it to me but he ends up making his putt for par, and I'm back to four down through 27 holes. But I wanted to stop it right there and just kind of go over a couple things. Golf can have just the smallest margins. Um, I mean, that chip shot, look at that chip shot. I mean, it rolls up there, catches so much of the lip, it actually goes 90 degrees to the right. And, you know, if that goes in, or if my putt goes in, and I mean, I just, it's been a long day and I just kind of boinked out there and missed that putt. But if that putt goes in or if the eagle chip goes in, you know, then I'm just back to a couple down. And then if I have a little more mental um, strength and hit a good tee shot, I mean, I made birdie on this hole and it was just like, you know, those two things to get a little momentum going at this part in the round when I'm down would have been huge. But just to let you guys know um, at home, like when you're playing, like, you know, things can go for you and think, things can go against you. And that's just kind of the way golf is. And we just keep playing and keep trying. And sometimes we get good breaks and sometimes we don't. But uh, let's get back to the action. So I tried to collect myself on the next hole and try to hit a good shot. And I just oh, hit a freaking, just freaking smash this drive 60 yards out and I chunk it. It's not as bad as I feel like it is, but the contact was bad. And so I ended up short again. Uh, I've been in this position just a little bit ago and I'm like, all right, let's not leave this short. Let's make sure we get this on the green. Let's get it close, make a par. And I just catch it a little bit too much ball on that. And I just fly it past about eight or 10 feet. So now I've got this like 10 footer My partner's up on the green. He's got kind of a short par putt left. And I'm like, I've got to make this. And I just misread it just a little bit. Uh, it's a good putt, but I just miss it. So we're, we're back to five down through 28 holes. 
I had a decent tee shot here. Uh, I fanned it out a little bit to the right. Uh, I think the wind kind of caught it. So I've got a pretty difficult chip shot here. Uh, and I'd like to make this. If I can make this, but I also don't want to hit it too hard. And it's just a tough shot. I mean, I wasn't real happy with it, but it's just such a tough shot. So now we're five down. I've got this putt right here. It's about eight feet. I've looked it over. I have to make this. If I don't make this, we're not going to do anything. Bam! Made it. We're only five down through 29 holes. I know I'm running out of holes, but I hit a really good tee shot. Uh, in fact, you kind of see me wanting it to kind of get down, but it hits the hill, goes down. And then, uh, unfortunately, uh, Rob didn't catch what happened uh, on this hole. Um, I think the battery died. So I ended up hitting the green. My partner made a par. I made a par. I'm five down through 30 holes. So this is that short par four. I step up and hit a really good shot. And I'm hoping that this, I mean, it looks like it's on the green. I mean, even the guy's like, oh, it should be up on the green. Well, I ended up bouncing over the green, and I've got pretty difficult chip here. Uh, not only is it not the best lie, but it's like I've got to get it on the green and then stop it, and it goes down the hole, down the hill to the hole. And I hit a pretty good chip, actually, uh, kind of by the hole, had a chance there, asking for it to slow down. So my playing partner, as you saw, he had uh, he was up there and won, and so he had a pretty easy putt. Uh, he putted it down there close. Uh, I think I gave it to him for birdie, so I have got to make this for birdie to stay five down, or this match is over. And what a great putt, under pressure. Let's go, five down, 31 holes. Now the other part about this is, not only have I played 31 holes, but I'm five down with five holes left to play. So I have to make I have to win every hole or it's over. If I have a tie or if uh, he beats me on a hole, this match is over and the club championship says goodbye. So I know that gravity of the situation. I want to hit a really good shot here and I step up. Good ball, uh, absolutely smooth. Straight up it. and down over there uh, on this that is last one. Probably my best drive, uh, one of my best drives of the day. I didn't even have to watch it, smash it. So I've got four hybrid oh, in. Yeah. I hit it pretty perfectly. Um, in fact, I thought, even Rob, like, I thought it would have bounced up on the green. Didn't get the best kick. Ended up a little short. So I've got this chip shot, and I'm thinking, let's get up and down. And I really just kind of chunked it. I just didn't quite hit it the way I wanted to. So here we are. It all comes down to this. Um, we've got noise in the background. There's a car over there. It's really loud. But I have to make this putt or the match is over. And it's like a, probably a 25 or 30 footer for birdie. And it's just a must-make situation. Yes. Bam, baby. I made birdie. I get to play another hole. Let's freaking go. I hit a decent shot here. I probably should have clubbed down. Um, I hit it just too much, and I think it's probably just from my adrenaline uh, from the situation. But I'm left with a really, really, really difficult chip shot. It's back down the hill. Uh, my playing partner has already chipped up, or he's about to chip up on the green. He missed the green a little bit. And I hit this, and I thought for a second it wasn't going to roll down the hill. But fortunately it did. I was going to say, that stopped. it's actually not a bad shot. It turned out pretty good. So I've got about this. It's about eight feet left. My playing partner's on the green. He's got a putt for par. I have to make this and I've got to hope that he misses his. And the gravity situation, we've got about 30 or 40 people watching, and I just backed off because I just know I've got to make this putt. I just don't quite make it. Um, so I look down, about to take my hat off. Uh, John gives me that, and I'm just like, he's got two putts for that, and that's the championship, folks. Well, there you have it. I came up a few shots short on the club championship. I'm gonna end this video with the outro that I recorded originally at the time I played it. And it's kind of fun to watch because I was a little dejected, still had a smile on my face, still looking forward to next year. I really appreciate you guys watching this and enjoy the outro. Well, there you go. 
made it 33 holes on the uh, championship Sunday. I didn't uh, have my A game today. Um, very proud of the way I putted. Putted very well today, but uh, did not have my best game. Uh, it, it, a lot of very bad shots, but uh, it's all good. Enjoyed it. Um, John Kramer, the guy I played, actually won his 14th club championship here and uh, at 74 years old. And we didn't record any of his shots, but that guy's flushing it all day long. He actually uh, didn't, he was saying he didn't putt that great, but he putted good enough. So there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Um, definitely back to the uh, drawing board and uh, starting to work out more and uh, get back into golf so I can play better and uh, hopefully maybe take home the championship next year. So thanks for uh, hanging out. Like, subscribe, comment below what you'd like to see on the channel next, guys. And uh, cheers from the club championship. Have a great day.